Zara K., an Australian citizen and founder of Faithless Hijabi, was held in Tanzanian police custody for 32 hours without charge. She was interrogated about her work to help women who are leaving Islam. Her charges are a form of state blasphemy and include being critical of the government. This is your friendly neighborhood ex-Muslim. Ellie Weisel wrote, There may be times when we are powerless to prevent injustice, but there must never be a time when we fail to protest. Remember that ex-Muslim women get hit twice as hard as ex-Muslim men. They get all sorts of vile messages and threats. I can't even share them here as they will not be allowed on YouTube, but trust me, they are really disgusting. How did this happen? These charges are politically motivated and believed to be initiated by those from the Koja Shia Ithnashari Jamaat, who have threatened Zara for leaving Islam and for her activism in support of ex-Muslims and women. This is a former Muslim community that she's from. Her words, they can try shaking me, but they won't break me. So what we see here is a perfect example of what happens to anyone who tries to speak against Islam. Every angle of your life is scrutinized. These people will try to target you however they can. They will try to hack your accounts, find out where you live, find where you work, and then dox you, meaning post your public details online. They will slander you, demonize you, make you look like the worst person. They'll call you fat, ugly, a loser, an idiot, low IQ, so on and so forth. Digging up old posts and escalating to the government is just another tactic used to silence dissent. The first charge she has is regarding something she has said while she was in the UK about Tanzania's handling of COVID-19. The second charge is regarding not giving her password back after she got an Australian one, which should probably be a fine, not a jail sentence. And the third one is a technical charge over using her family member's SIM card instead of her own, probably because she was temporarily living in the country and didn't feel like she should get her own. And that should really just be thrown out. There's one more thing these people would do, which I haven't mentioned, is that if they could, they would physically harm us. They would take ex-Muslims and imprison us and even execute us to shut us up and shut us down. This is a moment where we all need to stand together against religious bullies and fascists who want to shoot us down, quite literally. Against this former Shia community of hers that wants to see her rot in prison and stop her activism, we must always take sides. Neutrality helps the oppressor, never the victim. Silence encourages the tormentor, never the tormented. Ellie Weisel. We are going to rally to her cause. We are not going to let these Muslims shut her down. Here is what the Council of Ex-Muslims of Britain is proposing. We call on the public to continue to take urgent action by contacting Tanzanian embassies in countries of residence and the Tanzanian government calling for all charges against Zara K to be dropped and that she be permitted to leave the country. Please also contact Australian embassies in countries of residence, urging them to immediately intervene on behalf of Zara and get her home safe. I have included a link to the press release from the video description with a list of emails and Twitter accounts to contact. You can tweet the Tanzanian president John Magufuli directly as well as contact your local embassy. We need to especially support ex-Muslim women as there are much less of them and they are able to connect with other women like nobody else. My audience on YouTube is predominantly men, so let's help balance that out by featuring female ex-Muslim content producers. So that's what I wanted to share, an appeal to support Zara and get her back on her feet. I don't know when she'll be able to start her activism again, but let's make this crisis a bit more manageable for her. After this is over, let's continue to support her and other ex-Muslim women. This is your friendly neighborhood ex-Muslim signing out. One last thing. I will be reapplying to be back in the partner program and reactivating my channel memberships on YouTube in the new year. Hope those of you who got your membership suspended will rejoin once it's back. Here's to a happier 2021 for all of us from your friendly neighborhood ex-Muslim and from my family.